All right. Good. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, tough week last week. I started off at UTA, and uh, you know I thought we played good the first half, and second half, you know, just uh, you know their inside game, and uh, you know just a few turnovers that kind of hurt us. Uh, but you know I thought we played it. You know played well for the most part, and just uh, didn't fin up, finish up strong. And then against uh, Texas State. Uh, I thought the uh, second half we played uh, a lot better, especially the third. We kind of um, were able to defend them and 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 you know get some scores and and get, it was all about getting a win. I guess at this time of the year, it's just about not so much getting better, but trying to get wins. And uh, you know, we, our whole goal was to you know try to finish fourth uh, toward the end of the season if we could get a, a you know a host for the tournament. And that's what we did. And so we're excited about it, the teams that are coming in and. We, f we feel that we have a really good opportunity to, to do really well to, to try to make it to the tournament uh, in New Orleans. Questions? Well, I mean, I think it's, it's so much easier that we finished off the season here and then now we get to start the tournament here for two games and then with the tournament uh, semifinals being in New Orleans, I think it's a lot easier uh, and I, you know, it's not just easier as you got to get there. And I think, I mean, Kevin pointed it out early on in the season, as we went down that the third and fourth place would be important to try to get those hosts and be at home. And, and especially for us being so close to New Orleans, I think it's just an added plus. Uh, and so here we are, we got to take care of business. You know, I think we're matchups are pretty good. And can we, can we take care of business, uh, the next couple of games before we go to semifinals? Not really, you know, I mean, I think that's a, a great point. You know, we're trying to try to get a little bit more consistent. We talked about it all year, you know, and I, it was still kind of up and down, you know, with the different lineups we have and the different matchups and stuff. And um, I think that's just kind of, sometimes it's kind of part of women's basketball is the inconsistency that we have in shooting and defense and, you know, are you rebounding and all that. And to me, that's when the matchups really come in, you know, so what, what does the other team do well? and can you slow that down and not? And I feel pretty good about uh, the games that are coming up, especially being at home. You know, you know, you get an advantage playing at home. So I think it's a big, big part of us being forth and and trying to get these things done. But yeah, the, the inconsistency. I think we, if we could be a little bit more consistent, consistent at what we're doing. But the teams are different. You know, I mean, like we're getting ready to play Georgia Southern that can really shoot the three. Their inside game is not as uh, prevalent as UTAs, and so you, you're looking at a different type of team and. Can we adjust to that? Could they weaken what Texas State did? Because I thought it was going to be very different in Texas State, and it turned out that it wasn't all as different as we thought. So what about that? Yes, I, I mean, I think you're exactly right, because I wasn't really concerned too much about the inside game because they, they want to shoot the three. And Georgia Southern's the same way. You know, they want to shoot the three, but they do have some post play that they could take advantage of some of the switches that we may do or – some of the defenses that we may play, yeah. So, I mean, it's always a concern, you know. Um, and who's in the lineup? Or do we have a small? I, th I thought that sometimes we have too much of a smaller lineup. We might have to go with a little bit bigger lineup. But then the bigger lineup doesn't cover out as good. So, I mean, it's just going to be a, you know, cat and mouse game. I think, you know, how can we slow down their outside game, not to give them the inside game? It's going to be. It's, it, I mean, it's always tough for us being that we play small ball. No doubt, you know, you have you've you've had a lot of video on them and a lot of game video of of what they doing and what they really like to do. And I mean, they don't change a lot, but boy, when you can see them live like this, I think it's important, you know, to be able to see that and prepare for it. But you still got to take care of the Georgia Southern game, you know. And but yeah, I think it's a it's an advantage for us, you know, to be at home. I mean, we we don't on the road, we still watch, but to be at home and uh, you know, they always say sleeping in your own bed, kids kids need consistency. And so hopefully that we are ready for whatever they throw at us. Yeah, 
No, not really. I thought it was. I thought uh, Lazar was out for him, uh, uh, but she is. She played this last game and scored. And uh, I don't know. You know, I just. Uh, you know, I think people are maybe taking advantage of of the way they guard. And, you know, I know they like to go under screens and they hedge out a little bit. And you know, maybe uh, I, I don't know. You know, watching film, it looks like they're doing the same thing they've been doing in the past. Um, they're not shooting it as well sometimes, but at home they really usually take care of business, you know, and um, it looks like everybody's healthy for them. So I, I really don't know, you know. Uh, you, know you know, sometimes when you play a, a lineup of young kids, they get tired, the season's old. I mean, he's really young. And so the college division one season's a lot longer than that high school season. And they may be wearing down, you know. I mean, I know that happened to us last year, even though we didn't even get to where we wanted to be, it was tough. And then I heard uh, Stevie today saying, you know, smaller lineups in the NBA, toward the end of the day, start to get worn out because of bigger lineups. I, I mean, that could be a great point too, you know, because they're playing a little bit smaller than they've been in the past. And and their bigs are young, so, I mean, they're probably getting tired. You know, I think for the most part, the juniors understand it because we've really never had a fourth seed. You know, I, th I mean, it's been a while yeah. since uh, we had this opportunity. And I think they they really, because we've been talking about it. You know, it's not like we, we just hope it was going to happen. We've been talking about it when we saw that we weren't going to finish first and second. And that's been a while. You know, when we kind of dropped those four games, we said, hmm, you know, we'll be fighting for third and fourth and, uh, and mainly fourth. And so I think they realized that, because we got it done, this opportunity's ahead. Let's don't uh, let's don't let it pass us up. You know how important it's going to be to try to to get these two games. You know, get the first one and then hopefully get the second one at home. They, they understand being at home is important too. <coughs> no, not really. I kind of like it though. You know, it's it's, it's better than last year because last year you didn't know where you were going after the after the end of the season, and then you were going to go somewhere else if you won that one. Well, not really. You were going to go to New Orleans. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just a little bit different, you know. But for us, I guess being on the road, I'd be saying yes. But being at home, I, I feel more comfortable that, you know, we're able to play these two games and then go to New Orleans after a two-day break and, and get it done. <laughs> they played 20 games. And they started earlier. They played in December, and they played a Monday, some couple of Monday games. So it was our schedule wasn't the same as theirs. We had 18 uh, conference games schedule, and they did 20 games. But they started in December. Definitely, yeah. I th Well, they, they, with the options that we had, like to do what the men doing this year and to do what we're doing, they, we much rather, all of them much rather what we're doing. But we like next year where everybody goes to the tournament. I mean, that's what we all voted on. We're going to a 16-game conference schedule next year, and the men are going to 18. We're looking for our last. The last, the last time we did 16 games, we had two teams make it into the tournament, the NCAA tournament. They had a at-large, and that's what we feel instead of beating up on each other. Each team is so different in how they can fix their schedule for RPI. And I mean, you know, Troy right now is a 43, and then our next one's like in the 80s or 90s. So, you know, if you could get two teams in the, in the 40s some, some way, you know, that, that, that's the goal of ours is, as a, a conference.